Today marks the final day of the Florida legislative session. Lawmakers passing a bill on the final hours to address the property insurance crisis. The House unanimously passing this bill Thursday. Caleb Califano breaks down what this means for homeowners in Florida. With the bill passing the House and Senate this week, it's now ready to hit the governor's desk. But what could this mean for property owners in Florida? Much of House Bill 1503 focuses on Citizens Property Insurance Corporation and the impact it has on citizens secondary home policies. Currently in Florida, there's around 77,000 secondary home policies under citizens. The program currently in place only allows certain admitted insurance carriers for secondary home policies, which face state regulation on issues such as rates. This impacts citizens depopulation program that is designed to shift policies from citizens into the private market. House Bill 1503 would open it up to other surplus carriers, which don't follow the same regulations. These carriers often insure more risky properties. Citizens is currently the state's largest property insurer with more than a million policies, and lawmakers on both sides have made it a goal to take action and to populate citizens. Financial experts we talked to tell us this bill will help with that. The bigger picture, what this is doing is it's allowing citizens to move more policies to the private market, which is really essential to get to a steady market position here in Florida because right now citizens is well overexposed. It's important to note these can't be any surplus carriers. They would need to have financial strength ratings of at least an A minus from AM best to participate in the depopulation program. Caleb Calfano, WPBF 25 News.